your number one source for local news. News Channel 3. Good Sunday evening, everybody, from the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with a quick weather update. We're going to be going on pretty late tonight, thanks to NFL football running over from earlier this evening. So a quick check of the forecast before you head off to bed, if that's where you're going to, or maybe starting off third shift duty relatively soon. We're not seeing too much of any problems as a new cold front makes its way on through the area, but more chances of showers and thunderstorms could be a bit of a problem as we go into the course of tomorrow. We'll talk more about that coming up in just a little while. Currently looking at temperatures as we record this back in the mid to upper 70s. A little hazy out there thanks to some stacked up areas of pollutants in the atmosphere. Not seeing too much to worry about for right now in the way of problems after a code orange ozone alert was lifted around sunset thanks to Shelby County Health Department for more on that. Overnight weather and heading into tomorrow. We're going to be looking at some fairly calm weather, mostly cloudy skies at times and more chances of rainfall across parts of the area. Areas of showers and thunderstorms here and there, but not a great deal of activity. And temperatures tomorrow throughout the rest of the day, pretty mild compared to where we have been. Broke two record highs on Saturday and Sunday. Not so much the case into the rest of the day tomorrow. Temperatures in the high 70s to lower 80s from earlier today. And also again into the next couple of days as well, even past sunset tomorrow night, temperatures relatively on the comfortable side. Fog tonight and into tomorrow morning could be some patchy areas of fog, especially in southwest Tennessee and northwest Mississippi. Could be looking at visibilities around three miles. Doesn't look like a lot of major problems there, but keep that in mind and stay tuned for more on News Channel 3 Daybreak with Todd Demers. Bus stop forecast is going to be a cool one, but at least it's not going to be blazingly hot throughout the entire day as we see again some very nice conditions out there for the kids heading out to the bus stop, but make certain they've got some rain protection with them as they wait for the bus because there could be some scattered showers and thunderstorms out there. Winds will be out of the north and it's going to be much cooler throughout the rest of the week. We'll have updates on that forecast coming up on News Channel 3, so stay tuned for more there. Skywarn, if you'd like to volunteer for that going to be some good opportunities to learn more about what goes on with severe weather in numerous locations across the Mid-South. National Weather Service meteorologists and personnel will be teaching these courses and if you'd like to take the course and become a Skywarn spotter, that's spotter not chaser, very important delineation there, then all you have to do is follow them at their website at weather.gov, click on the Mid-South go to the left hand side menu of the screen and click on the Skywarn in indicator so you can get more information about when the next meetings will be these are the next five that will be coming up over the next several weeks through October and all the way into possibly November if the National Weather Service decides to extend them that far. And happy National Daughter Day to the Duchess Emma, who claims me as her dad. Hard to believe sometimes, but very proud to be your dad, Duchess, and I'm glad to have, hope you had a good day at work. This is a picture of her and me today at one of her jobs at the Half Shell in around the South Memphis area around Winchester and very proud of her so a great day today seeing her at work and doing her normal level best to help out on that. Don't forget we'll have all the information about the forecast coming up on the late edition that'll be starting at about 10 until 11 tonight and of course Todd Demers will have more on your forecast bright and early tomorrow morning on News Channel 3 Daybreak. From the News Channel 3 Weather Center in downtown Memphis I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with your quick weather update for Sunday night.